I'm 15, so I study the skin. The skin is a barrier organ that protects us from our everyday environmental hazards. One of those environmental hazards is the infectious agents. So normally the skin is colonized by billions and billions of microbes. When there's a barrier defect or immune suppression, these microbes can dis disseminate and cause highly fatal systemic infections. There are over two billion people per year that get skin infections, so it is absolutely critical to understand how the skin responds to an infection. The easiest way to think about it is to compare how the skin responds to an infection to how we respond to a home invasion. So this past Christmas, about 40 apartments in the uptown area were broken into, including my apartment pictured right there. We responded by raising alarm, increasing surveillance, and policing our neighborhoods. You can actually see the black chalk here where police took fingerprints from, traced the fingerprints back, and captured the offending agent. Finally, we re-fortified the barrier by strengthening our windows and putting up new alarm as to avoid future invasions. In my thesis research, I find that the skin behaves the same way when it encounters a pathogen. So when you have invasion by the pathogen, we find that the sensory nerves of the skin can actually directly detect the pathogen. This activates the nerves and causes a pain sensation. So infections cause pain. And this trips an alarm for the immune system, specifically activating the dendritic cells. The dendritic cells are kind of like the crime scene unit. They scan and survey the area looking for clues, specifically for the fingerprint of the microbe. When they find this information, they present this to the task force of the immune system, which is made up of T cells. T cells then police the barrier against microbes that expresses this unique fingerprint. And when they encounter this pathogen, they activate neutrophils, which imprison, gobbles up, and destroys the pathogen. They're kind of like the Pac-Man of the immune system. <laughs> Finally, they active, T cells activate the epithelia, which leads to fortifications of barrier, leading to thicker, less penetrable skin. So in the case of our second infection, we now have thicker skin, we have more nerves in the skin, leading to more alarms, we have the immune system that still remembers those fingerprints. They've been watching Home Alone and the sequels. They're ready for that second invasion. So we did this study in mice and showed that if you cut off that nerve or any of the immune cells or disrupt the pathway, the mice are unable to resist infection. This is also true in humans because humans who cannot feel pain or have their alarms turned off seem to get recurrent skin infections. So in summary, no pain, no gain. This provides new mechanistic understanding of the evolutionary benefits of sensing pain. Finally, we can use this pathway to treat the one in four people affected by skin infections. Thank you.